What up and welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick there. Joy there. And today we're reacting to another quite interesting key or QI. Oh yeah. And what are we reacting to today, Nick? What's today's episode? <laughs> today's clip is what's innuendo in French? Innuendo. <laughs> innuendo. I have no idea. I'm not even going to venture Every single time I think I know what they're going to talk about or what the answer is, it's always like, that's the dumb answer. That's the obvious answer that gets the buzzer. So I'm not going to say anything. I know what it means when we say it in English. We know what it's referenced to. That's all I'm going to go with it. I'm uh, excited to check this out. I like both hosts, but I'm a little more partial to Steven here, so I'm excited that he's our host on this clip. If you're excited, or if you like our reaction anyway, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next uploaded video. And I say this all the time, but for the newer viewers, we have several reactions to QI. We really, really like this show a lot. We always learn some. We're always entertained. It's one of those great shows that when we first started reacting to it, we're like, what is this? But we love it. Check out our other clips, other reactions. If you like this one, here she doesn't go. What's the French... For innuendo. I thought you were going to say with innuendos. Here she doesn't blow. Oh my gosh. What's the French for innuendo? Oh, that's so typical. Is it double on top? Stereotypical. Oh! Oh. Oh. Now just remember that double entendre is French for big tits, isn't it? <laughs> the double entendre means nothing to a Frenchman. You could say double entente. Entente is like a two man tent. <laughs> Good. Or double sens, double sense, but they don't say double entendre. So it's a French phrase that the French don't use. So it's yes. not French. Exactly. <laughs> and that's precisely what this round of questions is about. There are other examples of that. Suppose you're at a performance, someone is very brilliant and you want them to perform again. Encore. What, you'd shout encore. What would they shout in France? More. <laughs> <laughs> Good thought, but encore is a French word meaning more, but they don't shout encore when they want. They shout a Latin word, which means twice. Mm. Twice. Mm. Anyone? <laughs> anyone? Anyone in the audience? Beast, beast, B-I-S. Beast, 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 beast. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's what they sorry. shout. That's crap. try encore. We say encore in US show, well. wouldn't you? And at the end, everyone goes, beast. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are other phrases which we use, uh, which sound French, but again mean nothing to a Frenchman. Cause célèbre is not a French phrase. Like ensuite for a bathroom, the French wouldn't, they go, what? Yeah. What about bidet? Bidet they, they do indeed have, though it's easier really to do a handstand in the shower, to be honest. <laughs> um, and if you want the expense of... <laughs> Day. Not easier yeah, for me. If you're as nimble as I am, yeah. I'd pay good money to see that. <laughs> good luck like to see you doing that with a camera going, tweet this. <laughs> the trouble is with the handstand in the shower, though. Yes. It's like, you know, when you see a mountain stream and you think the water looks all right, but it's, I don't know where it's been further off. <laughs> When you're upside down and this water is pouring across your face, <laughs> lodging in your nostrils, and you, you know that it's been... <laughs> oh, that's a worry. That is an interesting thought. I had thought. a friend who, he, he had read somewhere that if you slept upside down, it made you more intelligent because the blood went, went to your, your brain. Your brain. Yeah. And I became obsessed with the idea that he would have a wet dream and die. <laughs> So, in so many ways, a horrific image. Yes. So, yes, there are words we use, décolletage, for example, we use for that. The French has used décolleté for that, not décolletage. S -s Excuse me, when you say we, oui, you mean you. <laughs> 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 it is, it's not a common phrase, but it's... No, it's not. No, no. there is a look at the décolletage on that. Could you put... <laughs> <laughs> you never stop learning. I've already learned how to say to my teenage sons, look at the knockers on that, without the mum getting annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> 
say décolletage. Décolletage. I thought it too. Of course, en suite, which is used commonly these days for a bathroom that's connected to a bedroom, in, in France they didn't use the and phrase en suite. And of course, the en suite. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Not the British home like. It's a Greek <laughs> phrase. Real or video? The Greeks say katatria styeftika, I think it is. And it means who gives a shit. Mm. But literally, it means there is trouble in the gypsy village. <laughs> <laughs> no way! <laughs> Idiom. Depending on where you are on the social calendar, it's, it's right that it is. Of course, yeah. people wouldn't give a shit at this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, that's the point. Uh, you can ask a Frenchman for a doublon tendre if you like, uh, but you'd be lucky if he gives you one. Now, now to some. <laughs> Hi. Hey. I'm trying to figure out where that new guy um, is from. Is it Scotland? His accent? I don't know. His like, accent's pretty cool, but cool. I couldn't place it at all. No, at, at the beginning. You're going to make fun. I thought he was like, he was French. Like, I, I could not place. I was so off the map at the very beginning. At the beginning, I thought it was very, uh, maybe a thick Scottish, but then everybody kept laughing and talking that it was like, when he was talking, it's kind of hard to hear the distinct um Tones. Anyway, let us know where his accent was from. I definitely love the rolling of his R's. Wish I could do that. I can't. He looked like a movie star. Like, he just had that kind of look like that, uh... Presence. Like that Western, like, I don't know. I don't want to say a Clint Eastwood, but... You, typically on this show... I'm, I'm sorry, QI contestants. You don't have too many, like, macho-looking, like, guys yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I can see that guy on Baywatch or something like that. <laughs> yes, yes. Gives you like an Arnold Schwarzenegger. Not, not that much, but uh, I don't know. I can't. I can't place. No, him. but there's a confidence about him, an air about him. He's just a good-looking guy, and it's just there. You know, that's the thing. Like there, are, there are some guys, just like there are some girls, where whether you're heterosexual, homosexual, it doesn't even matter. You can recognize. Yeah, that's a good-looking guy. That's a good-looking girl, right? Yes. Yes. One hundred percent. I think um, most of the rest of us are like. Uh, hopefully, someone likes you, pal. Like, like I got lucky right here. But there are certain people, like a Brad Pitt or whatever, it's just like, okay, yeah, whatever. Yeah, like that Rachel Riley, that's her name, right? From um, Count Eight Deaths. Yes. Yeah. Um, eight All I can think of the Eight Deaths. Eight out of ten cats. Eight out of ten cats says Countdown. I'm like, where's the other cover? She's absolutely beautiful. I didn't find him that cute. But, you know, J.J. Field is my boyfriend. Yeah. Again, so. I don't I don't specialize in ranking how good guys I'm look just so I love you inexperienced. So. But, Okay. I could just see, like, I don't know what that was. I was saying I love you, and you said, okay. Oh, I didn't hear that part. Uh, I like you, too. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, we're, like, way out of the map. I, de I would never have learned this. I would never have learned this if I didn't watch this show, right? I would never have thought about it. If, <laughs> okay, she's ignoring me. If we didn't watch this show. But wasn't that at least interesting to you? She's going to text my boyfriend. Oh, okay. Tell myself Maybe what's he'll up. love me. Can you let him know that he needs to start paying for stuff around here? <sighs> okay. Yes. What was your thing? Question again? It was what interesting, was right? It was interesting. I mean, it was so random, so but I was still entertained by it. But 100%. I would never have thought about this kind of stuff. Yes. But I wonder what the French think. Like, English speakers are using these words that aren't even words in our language. And ensuite is such a... Like, that's the only way we refer to as a bathroom being attached to a bedroom. So it's interesting that they That's don't use that. That's the only way I do. i say it's got a bathroom in there, too. I mean, I'd say that's the room you want to stay in because you have your own bathroom. I don't say, oh, the room en suite. Je ne sais pas. Or is it bathroom en suite? Is it bedroom en suite? Because when you go in that bathroom that's been used, nothing sweet about it, baby. <laughs> it's unsweet. En suite? <laughs> unsweet? <laughs> Okay, before he like has issues with these homophones yes. and just gets onto all his dad jokes, we're Huns. just gonna move on. But thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this reaction, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you didn't enjoy this reaction, I'm so sorry. Hopefully, there's another one you enjoyed. My fault. And until next time, goodbye. On sweet. <laughs>